Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Savannah, and today is going a little bit differently than I thought it would. I had a full day booked of dogs. It is February 13th. Um, it's a Thursday, and this morning when I woke up, it was minus 40 with the wind chill, and my water didn't work, which is fine. I brought some buckets of water, and usually throughout the day as I groom and the generator runs, then my water gets going and I can use the normal water. So my first dog was a small dog. I thought that's fine. I can use big buckets of water to get that dog bathed. And then by the time I have my big dogs later on in the day, my water will be working. But when I arrived to my first dog, my generator also wasn't working. So today is a little bit of a different day. I'm gonna have to reschedule some dogs and um, luckily everybody's really understanding and accommodating because of the weather. Um, I might have to work Saturday, which is whatever nature of owning a business. So I figured instead of wasting a day, I'm going to get some behind the scenes things done with the business. And I thought maybe you guys might wanna tag along. Since my water was frozen, I'm actually gonna go pick up a second space heater at Rona. And that is where I'm going to start my day off yet still getting business stuff done day so if you would like to see how my day goes this could be an incredibly boring video i don't know but maybe you're interested in seeing the behind the scenes of owning a mobile pet grooming business then just stay tuned <laughs> because I have nowhere else to put you guys but we got the new heater I just got the same heater that I have been using since November lately it's been starting to not like blow as strong I think it's because overnight I use that heater in the back of the van to keep things thawed and then during the day I use it in my working area so I think the back of it sucks in a lot of fur so I need a separate heater for the back and a separate one for my working area. So I am going to put this brand new one back there. So then hopefully by tomorrow, my water is thawed. I'm gonna show you guys, if I can get this out, how I leave a heater in the van overnight so that things don't freeze on me. And I also have to bring all my buckets of water and stuff back inside because I didn't get you to use them today because of the weather. Okay, so got this thing out. This is what she looks like. I can already feel that this heater is working way better than the other one. So I just have a crank to high here. We run an extension cord from our house. And then I just put this block of wood on top of the generator. I plug in the space heater pointed towards all my plumbing. And then I also plug in the water heater um, to the extension cord as well to keep the water all nice and warm. So hopefully this does the trick for us. And then I just very carefully close it in the door. buckets of water I fill them up like really hot so then by the time I get to my dogs it's like the perfect temperature so me leaving the water in the buckets will be pointless because they're just gonna get cold man it's cold out there um, okay I will say so the only reason that the van froze last night is because of the heater wasn't working properly also it only ever freezes when it gets like this crazy cold and then the generator, it always works for me, but I think just because it's this cold, it's also just not working properly. So instead of fighting with it all day, just rescheduling dogs. Honestly, this van is like a bajillion times better than the Wagon Tails van I used to work out of. No hate on Wagon Tails. It was an older van. 
um, and it would freeze up on me even with the furnace going all night and the antifreeze and uh, heaters and all of the tricks even when it was like minus 10. So I will take a couple days out of the year of this van freezing over the other van freezing literally every single night on me. Okay, go quick. It's cold. Things on the to-do list. Came home, paid attention to the dogs, let them outside. Um, change into comfy clothes, including slippers. That's very important. I made a list of some things that I want to get done today. And the first thing on my list, because I want to continue sitting on the couch a little bit, is I'm going to create a social media post using Canva, asking people if they would like their dog featured in a video to get in contact with me. So I'm actually gonna do a screen recording. If you are a business owner or you're thinking of becoming a business owner, Canva is free. This is not sponsored, but I absolutely love using it for my business posts. And I'm gonna show you a little bit about how I do that. Okay, so I wanna show you guys how to use Canva. It's awesome for business owners. So the version that I have is completely free, so you can do everything that I'm doing for free. So when you go into the app here, you can search by category, depending on what you are trying to make digitally. But I usually just search for whatever I'm looking for. So I'm just going to type in Instagram story dog and see what kind of templates they have. So I actually kind of liked one of these first ones up here. So let's try editing this one. Now, everything you see on the screen here, you can just tap on it and edit it to suit your needs with your brand colors, etc., which is awesome. So I'm going to make the background more of this color. I'm going to make these little squiggles um, purple to match my brand coloring. And then I'm also going to change this photo here. Okay, your pet on YouTube. Do you want your pet featured in one of my videos? Contact me. Okay, so I think that looks cute. So you just press this little button up here with the arrow down. And then it saves it to your camera roll for you. So I am quickly going to go into my Facebook page app and I am going to post this right now. So this is actually another graphic that I made through Canva right here. So we're going to go to publish, upload my photo, whoop, just this one. And then this is where I'm going to explain a little bit more about this photo. Okay, so that is how I create a graphic on Canva to use for my social media. I am also now quickly going to post it to my Guys. Instagram story here. So as you can see, it doesn't fit as well on Facebook, but it fits perfectly on uh, Instagram because I searched for Instagram story uh, templates so that's why it fits so so good here but it doesn't really it doesn't really bother me on the Facebook one so yeah that's how I use Canva okay so next thing I just got done on my to-do list was deposit all of my e-transfers um, I often forget to do them right away, so usually once a week, once every two weeks, I go through my email and make sure I've deposited them all. I really need to figure out the whole auto deposit, but I have to write down all my totals because it won't let me deposit it right into my business account. I have to deposit it into our joint checking account, then I move it over to our business account because I pay myself uh, twice a month. And then now I am going to make a couple payments online that I need to do and I will check back in with you guys. Um, this hose has been laying on the ground in the grad chair for probably a week and it's driving Corey crazy. So I figured now would be a good time to roll it up. Finally, I hate doing this every day after work because in the morning or after work, I have to fill up the van again, so it seems so pointless to put this hose away, but I know that it looks so messy when we don't put it away and it takes up more room in the garage, even though the garage is a complete mess. So to fill up the van with water, I use this hose in our garage. That's how we kind of get through filling up the van in the winter is we have a heated garage. And then also since Corey's a plumber, he put this water 
this water stuff in the garage and there's hot water and cold water over here so that is very very helpful and also if you're a mobile dog groomer and you're filling your van all the time get one of these really flexible hoses it will uh save you a huge headache every time you have to fill your van. Now one o'clock and I'm starting to get hungry so I should probably have something for lunch but as you can see this kitchen is a complete mess. What I want to do is clean all of this, make my lunch, eat, and then move on with the stuff that I need to for get done. lunch, I am having some leftovers from a supper that I went on earlier in the week with a friend. So I'm just having some pasta and I was also kind of thinking about what else I want to get done today for the business. I have these shears, a bunch of pairs of shears that need to get sharpened. I also have some shears and blades in the van that need to get sharpened. And then I also have this big bag of blades that have just been sitting there waiting for me to go through whether they are salvageable or not. So I'm going to go through those. So if I'm feeling adventurous, I am going to clean up all my shears and blades and take the ones that need to go to the sharpeners there. And then the ones that I've been using in the van, I'm going to clean all those up with blade cleaner and oil, etc. I do that regularly, but like these shears, they're good shears. It's just like they've been dull for a long time and they've just been sitting around because I absolutely hate going to the sharpener. So that is something I might also get done today. There's some editing stuff I need to do on my website. There's been a glitch on my website. People have been trying to order things and it's not working. There's also some stuff I just want to add to the website. Oh yeah, I also have this notebook beside me and this is how I keep track of how much I pay myself, when I pay myself, when my payments for things come out, like the plates, etc. When I um, transfer money over to my savings from my business account, etc. So this just has a bunch of different pages that I fill out. I write down the month and how much I contribute and how much goes out and how much goes in, etc. Just so I can keep track of it. I know you can do all of that through online banking, but I kind of like doing like a paper version of it. Okay, excuse how gross and beat up our table is, but these are what I've decided I'm going to take into the sharpeners. My curved black pearls and my straight black pearls, I've had these honestly for six or seven years. I've had these since grooming school. Love them, haven't used them for a while. They need to get sharpened, I'm excited for that. This is a Kenshi uh, Scorpio set of shears that I'm gonna get sharpened. These fresh shears are actually new. I won this in a like groomer support group on Instagram, absolutely in love. I would love to put in an order for some thinners from Fresh. And I've been using these a lot, but then I dropped them and now they don't cut. So I need to get these sharpened. And then also the matching uh, uh, black pearl thinners that go with these. Now, usually when you get these shears, there's a little pearl right here. But if you've ever used them before, you know that eventually it just falls off. And then these are the blades I'm gonna bring in four two fives two sevens a 30 and a 40 and that's all i'm gonna bring in to be sharpened all right dropping off all my sharpening now all my stuff is dropped off for sharpening it's a thursday and he's estimating tuesday i can come back but it's okay i don't need any of that stuff and there's a lot there so i understand um next i actually brought a bunch of my jerry cans with me to fill up gas for the generator so on the way home, I am going to stop at the gas station, fill up all three of my jerry cans. And when I get home, I will show you guys them and talk to you a little bit about how I do that and how much it costs. These are the three jerry cans that I use for my generator every week. Now, I would say I go through, I go through all three of these plus a little bit more. We want to get another one of these big ones. I think that would get me through exactly 
a week working Monday to Friday, um, usually around 9 to 4 30, 9 to 5 kind of thing. So for a week of gas just for the generator, this was $60. So I would say I spend about $80 a week on gas just for the generator. That doesn't include the van. I am going to be making a full price breakdown of what I pay for my expenses in a month with the mobile pet grooming business. And then something else I love is this little gas pump that I have. So you put this into the jerry can, you press this on or off button, and then the gas comes out of this to fill the generator because these big ones are really heavy. I have a hard time lifting them myself and pouring them out. So yeah. That is how much gas I use for my gen every week. It is now almost like 4.30. I got kind of distracted. My mom called me for a bit and then I started making some stuff for supper. You can probably hear it in the background. But I think to finish off the rest of the day before Corey gets home is I'm going to work on the stuff that I need to do on my website. I use WordPress for my website. I've been having some shipping option problems in the checkout. And um, if you don't know how to operate WordPress, it can be kind of glitchy and hard to figure out. I have slowly been figuring it out since I set up my website, and I would highly recommend WordPress if you have time to mess around with it. But I imagine that might take me a little bit. And then there's also some pages on my website that I want to update. Looking at my list of things that I had as ideas that I wanted to get done today, I haven't gotten around to organizing receipts. I did spend some time texting and emailing clients back to get dogs booked in. And I also was thinking of maybe ordering some supplies from Wren's or Lynn's. Um, if I am, if I do end up doing that later, I will let you know in this video. But as far as I know right now, I am just gonna be working on my website for a bit. Boomy, what are you doing? Hey guys, so I forgot to end the vlog the day that I was filming it. It is now the next week and it turns out that the heater was the fix that I needed. This morning it was minus 40 and my water wasn't frozen and my generator worked. So I'm very glad that I got a new heater and that was the fix that I needed. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below so I can make more videos like this and show you more behind the scenes of owning a mobile pet grooming business. Also, if you haven't already, I encourage you to press the red subscribe button down below. Lately, I've been uploading twice a week, but I do for sure upload at least once a week, and I wouldn't want you to miss those. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.